uh, curriculum uh, developed for uh, uh, a, a data analytics course. Uh, so I attended the online R coding boot camp uh, the, the summer of last year. So I, uh, in the last year, I developed a, a course curriculum for uh, ana uh, data analytics and uh, uh, taught this course um, for the uh, graduate, graduate and undergraduate students. So in this, in this presentation, I just um, 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 give you an overview about uh, the, the content and it is uh, uh, including this course. So I um, teach another course, is data mining and machine learning. So um, the data analytics and data mining and machine learning um, has uh, overlapped. So here I, um, uh, so we talk about how I uh, deal with this uh, problem. So I, the data analytics course, uh, I focused on the, um, getting insight from data, uh, discuss the descriptive statistics and uh, uh, some data mining techniques, especially the frequency of uh, frequent pattern mining and the clustering. So I moved uh, all the predictive statistics uh, and, and the machine learning techniques in, into another course, which is uh, data mining and machine learning. So um, in the descriptive uh, statistics, uh, so um, I discuss the descriptive univariate analysis and the descriptive uh, bivariate analysis and the uh, descriptive uh, multivariate analysis. So the uh, for the um, descriptive univariate uh, analysis um, includes univariate frequencies and data visualization, uh, univariate uh, statistics, um, and also talk about the uh, common universe probability distributions. Uh, for the descriptive bivariate analysis, I uh, discuss the two quantitative uh, uh, analysis um, of the two quantitative attributes and the two qualitative attributes and uh, at least one of them um, is the uh, nominal attribute and the uh, two ordinal attributes. Um, for the uh, frequency uh, analysis, uh, so I discussed, uh, uh, talked about the frequent tables um, and discuss the absolute frequency, uh, frequency, which is a count uh, how many times uh, the value appears in the data set. And the relative frequency uh, is a kind of percentage of times that the value appears in the data set. And uh, also did, uh, talk about the statistical measures and, uh, and, and the plots, uh, how to visualize. Is not matters. Um, so in the uh, class, I use uh, uh, some sample data, for example, a, a table um, with, uh, um, so here is a table with the six uh, attributes with uh, quantitative and qualitative attributes as well. Um, so the uh, frequency table, um, so that's um, discussed in the class. Um, I just um, did um, talk about how to derive the, uh, this uh, numbers, the absolute frequency um, and the relative frequency, these numbers from the data set. So here I just uh, show the result. 
and uh, for the uh, data validation of the uh, discrete univariate uh, analysis. Um, in the class, I um, just talk about the, show the students how to um, get the um, pi uh, plot and the bar plot uh, and uh, um, plot, plot the uh, quantitative uh, um, uh, data with the uh, line plot and the uh, error plot and the histogram. Um, for the statistics, uh, universe, um, st statistics, um, I, um, I discussed two group of uh, uh, group of universe statistics, uh, including uh, location statistics. Um, for example, the minimum, maximum, mean, and the median, and uh, and mode and uh, quantile. The, the quantile is the uh, is a basic concept to understand the um, bus uh, bus class uh, bus uh, plot and the uh, uh, dispersion of statistics, um, which it uh, describes how spread uh, out of a set of uh, data is. Um, for the dispersion statistics, uh, I just um, discussed the amplitude and uh, inter or quantile range and the uh, mean absolute division and standard division. Um, just use the, uh, I just show the, um, uh, this, the R functions. Um, in our, our studio um, to show the student in the class how to uh, uh, get the um, uh, this, um, statistics uh, values using R. Um, for the, uh, I just talked about the validation. I just show the student in the class uh, how to plot and um, get a different um, plots. Um, for the uh, descriptive uh, variety analysis, uh, I talked about the uh, pairs of uh, attributes, the relative behavior between them, according to the skill type of the attributes, um, including when the two attributes are quantitative or one attribute is quantitative and the, the other is uh, quantitative. And two attributes is quantitative, uh, at least one of the is uh, nominal and uh, um, and how to analyze the two attributes are normal. So that when the two attributes are quantitative, um, uh, visualize the uh, data with the uh, scatter plot and and uh, um, uh, and using a, a three dimensional histogram. Uh, so I just uh, um, demonstrate in the class how to um, generate these uh, plots and share the code with the students. And uh, discuss the covariance um, using the, this uh, R function, the COA, and the, um, how, so in the class that um, that teach the student how to uh, calculate the covariance and the uh, for the correlation, I discussed the Pearson correlation and the Behrman's uh, rank correlation. Talk about the calculation of this um, um, correlation of values and uh, how to use R to um, how to calculate the correlation coefficient. So using this COR, this function to um, calculate the um, Pearson correlation um, regarding the data. And so this function kind of has an option, uh, the method um, 
can um, set the method as a person or specimen, a specimen to get the these two types of uh, coefficient. Okay, this experiment correlation. So when the um, so I discussed when two attributes are quantitative, um, we can uh, create a uh, contingency tables uh, in R using the table function, uh, which show the uh, number of. Uh, instances in the uh, data set uh, with the uh, 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 company of uh, 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 equals good and uh, the, the gender is uh, um, a male is six. So the get the number of uh, the combination of the value of uh, two attributes. Uh, for the uh, two qualitative attributes, um, at least one of them is uh, nominal. Um, so I discussed, uh, um, introduced the uh, um, mosaic plot. Um, use, um, in R, we can use the mosaic plot function to um, generate this, uh, this uh, mosaic plot. For the um, multivariate um, analysis, the descriptive multivariate analysis. Um, so I did. So for the multivariate frequencies, um, the the calculation of the frequencies is similar as the um, variate and uh, uh, univariate analysis. So I didn't talk about this uh, too much. Um, so I talked about the uh, multivariate data validation and uh, uh, multivariate statistics. So the uh, multivariate uh, data validation. So when the uh, multivariate uh, multivariate data has three attributes. Um, at least two of them are quantitative. So data can still be visualized by bivariate uh, to uh, plot. So the, which means the three-dimensional data can be visualized in a two-dimensional space. We can use the, uh, uh, the size of the uh, uh, point in the three, uh, two-dimensional space or the use size, color, or shape. Uh, to represent the three-dimensional uh, data uh, in two-dimensional space. So using the, uh, this package, uh, ggplot2 and the ggplot function can um, generate this uh, plot. So I just show the, uh, how to use the ggplot function in the class and uh, share the code with sample code with students and give them assignments to um, uh, to plot this uh, and sample data so they can um, generate this uh, plot by themselves. And as uh, to represent three uh, attributes, uh, as three quantitative attributes. Um, so we can use a three-dimensional plot, a three-dimensional scatter plot to visualize the data. Uh, so which is uh, uh, using a package uh, plot LY, and the function plot LY, uh, plot uh, underscore LY function to uh, generate this three-dimensional scatter plot. And for the multivariate um, uh, visualization, we can also use uh, profile plots. 
um, so which is a, a parallel um, using the parallel coordinates. Um, so the two two dimensional usually the two dimensional uh, we uh, plot uh, the data in a two dimensional three dimensional space. The the coordinates are perpendicular. Um, but this um, in the profile uh, plots, the, par the, the coordinates are in parallel. So um, uh, theoretically, no limitation uh, of the, on the, um, the the dimensions of data could be visualized using this plot. So in this plot, each line, um, so we, we connect, we can connect the, uh, so each line um, represents an instance. Uh, in the, if we use the two dimensional, the traditional, the two dimensional, uh, three dimensional space, which each instance uh, is rep represents a point. Here, the uh, each instance, the data set is represents a line. We can um, use the different colors um, to uh, represent the category, the the, um, the, the category data. So the for three lines um, uh, represent uh, the values, three values of the categorical um, attribute. So we can use the ggplot2 uh, uh, this um, package. Uh, gg uh, this per core this function we can use this function in the ggplot2 to um, generate this uh, um, profile plots to get inside of data in, in another way. And uh, I also uh, discussed the uh, star plots. Uh, the star plot is known as a spider plot or a radar chart. With uh, three of more uh, quantitative variables um, represent on axis starting from the same point. So this um, as the uh, starting from the same point, this is as same as the traditional two, two dimensional, as there is three dimensional um, plots. But um, so here, um, the the access is not uh, required to be uh, perpendicular to each. Other. So each, um, so in a, in a um, star plot. Uh, we can create a uh, star plot for each instance. So here, an example of the uh, star plot of the data set. So each um, instance in the data set is, is represented as a, a star plot. So I also did um, talk about the uh, box plot. So if the number of attributes is, we can use the box plot for the univariate and favorite um, let's say also can use the uh, box plot for multivariate um, data visualization. So if the number of attributes is uh, uh, not too large, So we can um, um, plot the get a box plot one box plot for each attribute. So you can use the box plot function um, in R to um, just um, give the the data um, uh, the data frame as a uh, argument. The parameter argument of this uh, box plot function. This function can um, create this box plot uh, 
um, for the um, multiple attributes. Okay, scatter plot uh, matrix. Uh, since I um, talked about the uh, person correlation and the person correlation uh, um, for the bivariate statistics. So here um, for the multivariate statistics, um, the multivariate data analysis, we can um, generate this scatter plot uh, uh, matrix. So in this matrix, we can um, show the scatter plots. Um, of two, um, of only two uh, attributes, the data of two attributes, and they also uh, show the person uh, correlation coefficient uh, or uh, specimen uh, correlation coefficient uh, in this. Scatter plot. So the, um, the people can check the uh, analyze the, uh, the this multivariate uh, data set the two by uh, the two by two uh, using the GG uh, package. This is a package. And uh, using the, the GG pairs function in this package. And the uh, uh, heat map. The so heat map can show how close the object, objects of data set are considered the predictive attributes values. Uh, can show this using the a uh, heat map can show all the um, attributes and the values of attributes in the data set. You can use the uh, heat map function to uh, generate the uh, heat map uh, for a data set. Okay, um, so after the descriptive statistics, I uh, discuss the Frequent pattern mining, um, including um, find, finding frequent items and uh, finding also association rules. So I um, um, discuss the details about the um, the finding um, about the algorithm. Um, used to finding the frequent item size and the uh, association rules and, and how to calculate the some measurement for uh, choosing frequent item size and uh, association rules. So in the frequent pattern mining uh, is different with the, the, the previous the data the data set. Here you need to deal with the transactional data set. So uh, since the uh, uh, generating candidate uh, item size is a time consuming um, process. So I discussed, so talk about the uh, a priori uh, principle uh, used to uh, 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 spring, uh, to, to print uh, candidate size, uh, item size. And also talk about the uh, a priori algorithm um, for the candidate item generation and reduction. So um, also talk about the associated rule of many algorithms. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, um, uh, talk about the R packages uh, used for also the rule manual, uh, including uh, which is uh, a rules and a visualization package, uh, a rules uh, VIZ. I also talk about the uh, clustering um, techniques. Um, clustering, uh, it's just, it gives the insight of the um, data set. A given a uh, data set. So here, if I present up um, the dots, clustering, um, Uh, technique um, can be used to find the uh, clusters um, to minimize the inter -class, uh, cluster distance and then maximize the inter class distance. So I talk about the uh, partitional uh, clustering, um, um, which just uh, group the, the instances into. Uh, um, the clusters and the hierarchical clustering. Uh, we, so um, the cl hierarchical clustering aims to uh, get the uh, hierarchical uh, structure of the uh, clusters. So I um, I introduced the, uh, the, the R package um, uh, using the uh, k-means clustering as an example. We introduced the R package, um, the DPL by R, and uh, other uh, two packages used to, um, to analyze the uh, k-means uh, uh, clustering result and visualize the result, uh, k-means uh, clustering result. Okay, uh, that's an uh, overview about the uh, of the, the curriculum um, for my uh, data analysis course. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dr. Chen, is this for master student? Yeah, for master and uh, yeah, for master. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, how many students do we have? Uh, In about. Uh, 10 students. Okay. What, uh, what degree are they doing? Uh, data science? Uh, they have a, a focus, uh, data, data science focus. They have two focus, uh, data science okay. and cyber security. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, can you stop sharing the screen? Sure.